here I am holding up the camera with one hand and, and uh, doing a video. Uh, it's a lazy, lazy Saturday here. Last weekend of November. And um, just celebrated Thanksgiving, Thursday, and my anniversary. And before that, on the 22nd was my birthday. So it's been kind of a busy month. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have allergies. It's raining and wet and yucky here in Marble Falls. That's outside my bedroom window. I wanted to show you that deer. Can you see the deer? I bought that at a garage sale for $5. Brand new. It's to attract male deer. It comes with these things you push down into the ground and she's life size actually. And then I have a mark on that wall so I decided I put the deer on the wall. What do you think? That's a good decorating idea, right? I'm weird. Anyways, I thought I'd get on here on this lazy Saturday afternoon to make a video because it's been a while since I made one. And I just thought that I'd tell you a true scary story. I'm not sure if I've shared this before. Let me switch arms just for a second. Sorry about that. I have an itch on my arm. <clears throat> Sorry about my cough. I do have a little bit of allergies going on. Oops. I'm just messing up all kinds of stuff. Um, anyways, just wanted to get on a video do a video about this story I have for you and it's a true story and I lived in San Marcos and I had a house out there on three and a half acres miss that house terribly even though there's a lot of weird things that happened there and this is one of them it was uh I think it was a, a Saturday actually and I was waiting for a guy I was dating to come over and visit and hang out and watch tv and my daughter and I were alone at the house and I was going through this divorce with my second husband. And uh, we had been married about 11 years. And there was a lot of yelling in this marriage. But this is just a strange thing that happened. It's kind of a, I don't know. You, I'm just going to tell you the story what happened. And it's, it's really happened and it's true. And you let me know what you think about it. <clears throat> my, my daughter Candace and I were back in the bedroom watching TV waiting for John to come over and sorry, I got my hair's falling in my eyeballs, waiting for him to come over and visit. And while we were in the back bedroom there watching TV in my room, um, I heard my ex-husband scream, Tammy. And I jumped up and my daughter jumped up and we ran to the living room and it, it, it was like screaming at me, Tammy, blah, blah, blah. But I could not tell after he said my name what else he was saying? It was like mumble, blah, 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 but it was real loud. And when I ran down the hall and I was yelling back, what are you doing here? What do you want? And when I got to the living room, it, the voice stopped and there was nobody there. My daughter was kind of freaking out and I was a little bit freaked out and I thought, how did that happen? So I looked out front to see if he was, his car was here and, or there and looked in the backyard. Nobody was around. So it was really freaky. It was like, how did that happen? You know, I don't know if I've shared the story before on here, but I, I just think it's pretty, pretty weird. But anyways, my daughter was like, what's going on, mom? And I'm like, I have no idea. Uh, he's not here. So this doesn't make sense. And I probably locked the doors and everything. I don't remember what I did. And I went back to the bedroom to you know, just blew it off to watch TV. Well, a few minutes later, it happened again. And I mean, it was, he was screaming, Tammy, da, da, da. like he was really mad at me. And this time I ran down that hall and he was, it was like a mumbling, Tammy, blah, 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 blah. like you couldn't tell what he was saying. I got my, and when I got to the living room screaming back there again, it stopped. As soon as I got to the living room, the yelling was there and then it stopped as soon as I entered the, the living room where it was coming from. Again, no one was there. Nobody. Not the backyard, not the front yard, not the living room. He was nowhere around there. And I'm thinking, how is this possible? Did he yell at me so much while we were married that it got trapped in the walls and made its way out? Like, like a sound on a tape recorder gets, you know, it's on the tape. I, I mean, I don't know how those things work. But to this day, I thought it was pretty spooky. And I thought I would just share that story with you. And you tell me if you had a strange experience like that. It's kind of a spooky story. And uh, it wasn't my ex-husband, I guess. I don't, I don't know, but it sounded exactly like him. I wish my daughter was here so she could share the story with you. Um, we'll never forget it.
Anyways, I hope everyone's having a fabulous weekend. And I don't know. Lost my train of thought. Anyways, have a blessed one. Love y'all. Thanks for listening. Um, please give me a like if you like the story. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye.